Reunion Arena in Dallas, where the Mavs and Lakers are playing tonight, was built in 1980. Now, you couldn't ask for a better facility. It's easily accessible, has all the comforts of a theater, and there isn't a bad seat in the house. But for some reason, there are those who prefer the Boston Garden, mostly those who wear Celtic green. Our Paul Ryden is not among them. Boston Mass is a trip in time, a patriotic and historical journey to our nation's roots back more than 200 years. A short ride to Boston's northern reaches on aging rails and you go back even farther. At least, it feels that way. Next stop, the Boston Garden, where Paul Revere is said to have shouted, the Lakers are coming, the Lakers are coming, two if by bird, three if by Ainge. An interesting historical sidelight, by the way, there are still members of that original revolutionary team still on this year's squad. But anyway, enough history. What is so special about the Boston Garden other than the fact that it's a thousand years old? Let's take a look. First of all, a garden, it's not. It's a train station, really. One flight up and you're on the fabled parquet floor. Now, before you get all misty-eyed about the parquet, take a closer look. Somebody lays a floor like this at my house and I suggest he try it again when he's sober. And you've heard of the famous floor's dead spots? Why, that must be one of them there. Is it any wonder, then, that the home team has the edge here? I mean, besides their talent and coaching and management and the floor. Oh, and, and the ceiling. There's something about those banners in the rafters, 19 of them Celtic-related. They are the only things that will give you goosebumps in the garden. It certainly won't be the air conditioning. There isn't any. That's a 20th century invention. Instead, the temperature is set at a comfortable 800 degrees Fahrenheit comfortable if you're an iguana, which is really great when the Bruins play hockey here. Combine the warm air with the cool ice, and you've got conditions even Willard Scott would have a hard time explaining. Then, of course, there's the garden's electrical system. I wonder what this does. Oops. <laughs> For 60 years, everything's fine. Then a circuit breaker goes out during the Stanley Cup Finals. Yeah, that's it. Or was it sabotage? Well, while they figure it out, anybody got a penny for the fuse box? But you gotta love the garden. Where else can you wait in line 36 hours to sit behind a pole and pay 60 bucks to boot? But buyer beware, the Celtics only charge 12. Wayne, how did you get these seats? Actually, they're a Father's Day gift from my son. Son doesn't think much of you, I guess, huh? No, as a matter of fact, I'm very happy with these seats. I'm glad to be here. At least it's a better view than the folks downstairs have. And my, don't they look upset about that. A thriller unfolds upstairs, and Jim Akers unfolds a thriller of his own while he waits for the train to Lynn. Sure, they could build another arena, but who needs another modern edifice indistinguishable from the Omni or the Summit or the whatever dome? Besides, when you win 87% of your home games in a place like this, as the Celtics have done this decade, why mess with a good thing? In Boston, I'm Paul Ryden, TBS Sports.